Philippa Priest fine art and Pip's portraits. I thought I'd try something a little bit different today. I'm going to do a voiceover because I thought it might be nice to speak to you about what I'm thinking when I'm doing a piece of artwork. Today I'm working on a pet portrait commissioned by my friend Katie. This is her Nana's dog. I wanted to try something new. Uh, I'm working with new materials which you probably shouldn't do for a commission but I knew that I had the time to restart it if I wasn't happy with the results so today I've worked with some gouache and pastel pencils on toned paper. As you can see I like to mix my colours before I start applying them to the paper. So I've got a few different tones of colours in the background and I'm just applying them in layers and kind of work all the way around to see how things look. I'm always sort of looking at, you know, the effect of colours next to each other and the tones. I'm not being too fussy at this point. I might make some little mistakes which I can pick up again with a, a tissue. But, um, I'm just trying to get the tones in there really at the moment. Now that I've got a base for the background, I'm working on the tones of the dog. Because I want this to be the focal area, I'm working with darker darks and lighter lights for my range of tone. I'm also trying to blend out those guidelines as I go so they're not going to be visible in the final product. paint that I'm using is just going to be a base and then I'm going to work over it with more detail so this is just blocking in the colours and the tones but I will be able to make changes to these as I go along. Now I'm starting to work over that paint base with some chalk pastels. I love using chalk pastels. I didn't used to because I wasn't sure on the type of paper that you should use, but you should use paper with a good tooth, uh, which is kind of like textured paper because that will hold the pastel much better and it won't smudge. Um, and I'm using blending stubs and different things to blend. Try not to use my fingers too much when I blend because it can make your work look a bit grubby. And now I'm just working back into the background to try and adjust those tones and to create more depth in the colours that I have. A female dog so I thought I'd add a little bit of pink try and make it look a little bit feminine you can see she's quite a princess I think she's got that little sparkle in her eye and that just the way that she's got that little head tilt it's uh, quite expectant and uh, I quite like the look of that dog you'll as this drawing sort of progresses you'll see that I'm trying to capture that kind of little cheeky smile that she's got and a little twinkle in her eye I think she looks very cute an adorable troublemaker I think. <laughs> That's the thing that I love about doing pet portraits is the fact that you try to connect with the animal. I, I love animals, I've always loved animals and I think when you do a pet portrait you try to capture their personality. These pets are part of the family. I've always had pets but I have a connection to loads of animals and I think it's really important to recognise that they are they have feelings and they have emotions. I've got to try and capture their little personalities or big personalities I think in the case of this puppy. <laughs> She's adorable. So 
So now I'm working into the piece with more detail. I'm using Derwent pastel pencils. Um, these are another tool that I love to use. Um, trying to capture the, the detail of the fur. I'm working into it with a greater range of tones, so darker darks and lighter lights again. But I'm trying to capture all the colors that are in the fur as well. I can see there's purples and greens as well as the sort of beige colors of the fur. And I think again, that gives it more depth. I'm trying to really get those highlights um, and I'm using pens as well, gem, gel pens and ink pens to get those real highlights and real tones that will make the piece pop. I really wanted to capture the dog's expression so I've added a lot of detail into these areas and I wanted that to be the focal point of the picture. If you've made it all the way to the end of my video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like, comment below and subscribe to my channel for more. See you next time.